In today's short video, we're going to be looking at how you can build your own flow using Copilot within Power Automate. But first, let's get the most pressing question out of the way. That is, so Melissa, whenever I get to Power Automate or the Power Apps homepage, I don't know how to prompt Copilot to actually build something for me. So if you're like me and you don't know how to prompt it, you can be able to use the Power Platform prompt library that we have for you so that you can be able to start playing around with Copilot and seeing how it actually works in action. Right. So without wasting any time, we can actually head over to the Power Automate homepage so that we can be able to build our own workflow. So before I can start building this, I have this form that actually takes in feedback from anyone who actually attended my session. It's just a simple form that takes in that feedback and the responses from the users. And I want to take all of this information and start it back to SharePoint but I want to use Copilot to actually build a flow to do that for me. So how can I do that, right? So I can start describing what I want to Copilot and then Copilot will end up building it for me. But in a case where I'm just like you, I don't know how to prompt Copilot, where can I be able to look for help? Again, I'll open the Power Platform prompt library where you'll find all of the prompts um, that you can be able to use within the Power Platform so that you can be able to play around with Copilot within the Power Platform. So the first one that caught my eye for me is that it's the Customer Feedback Automation Prompt, which it states, build a workflow that gets customer feedback from SharePoint, actually not from SharePoint, but from Microsoft Forms and adds the feedback to SharePoint, right? Exactly what I actually need for my scenario. And also it goes further and says, send an email follow up to the submitter, include the text in the body that thanks them for submitting the feedback, right? So I'm not going to copy and paste this. We're going to do this together because I want you to see Copilot in action. So we're going to head over to Power Automate and within Power Automate, what we're going to do is actually start prompting and probing a Copilot to build something for us, just like how that prompt on the prompt library is built. So it says, build a workflow, build a workflow that gets customer feedback from Microsoft Forms and add the feedback to SharePoint, right? That's what I want out of um, out of Copilot. So I do not want that extra part of the prompt that we got from the pro the prompt library, where it says um, send an email to the responder and also obviously uh, update the the responder in terms of their response. Right, I just want the first part of our prompt, which is just build a workflow that gets the customer feedback from Microsoft Forms and add the feedback to a SharePoint list or SharePoint um, document library. So the moment I press enter, that is when the magic of Copilot or the power of Copilot actually comes into play, where now Copilot will start building the flow for us. With this Copilot then suggests a flow for us that we can be able to start using. And if I am happy with all of this information that Copilot has actually suggested to me, then I can click on next and then Copilot will start generating the Power Automate flow for me. So it's actually on a good, uh, a good place because the trigger of my Power Automate flow is when a new response is submitted and then it gets the response details, creates the item meeting that requirement of building a workflow that collects the feedback that is collected using a Microsoft form, then sending it into SharePoint. So once I'm happy, I can click on next and then Copilot or uh, Power Automate will then suggest that I set up my connections or my connected apps and services and I can see everything is okay. It's connected to my developer account. I can click on next. Then the next step will then will be then for me to choose my settings or add in the details of all of the actions and the triggers within uh, within my Power Automate flow that Copilot actually built for me. So, like you see on the screen, 
this step is optional as optional as it is you can choose to actually fill in these details here or you can fill them in within the designer of your power automate flow so for us we're gonna actually choose our details or choose our settings right here on the step right we can edit it here so my form is named session feedback uh, for my d still session feedback and then the site address is digo demos that's why i do my demos i have a sharepoint site called digo demos and then the list name would be customer feedback for an example right and then once i'm happy i can click on create flow and then copilot will create the flow for me with all of the necessary steps necessary details within those steps of my power automate flow added in because we set them up on the previous step again if you don't set up those uh, in those details within the previous step you can still set them in here within the designer itself so you can see for an example if i click on my trigger you'll see that the the form or the form id has already been selected within copilot right so within power automate so now the next thing is to actually see that our power automate flow is ready to run it's ready to go and we can be able to use it another thing that i actually want to uh, bring to your attention is that you also have copilot as an assistant to actually help you update those power automate flow so if i wanted to update my flow right now it will then i will then use copilot as my assistant or as my pair programmer if i could actually term it that way to help me add in new details new information or new actions within my power automate flow well let's actually get into that right let's go back to the prompt library because i want to use part of the prompt so at the end of the prompt it says send an email follow-up to the submitter include in the body that thanks them for include a text in the body that thanks them for submitting the feedback right so how can we do this let's go back to power automate flow and just remove those details and then add in the last part of the prompt so we're gonna say send an email to the submitter include um, a text that thanks them so let's quickly check our prompt it says include the text in the body that thanks them for submitting feedback so include a text so i'm going to update this in the body that thanks that thanks them for submitting the feedback right and then i will hit enter and then you'll watch a co-pilot actually being smart enough to add in that action exactly where it needs to be added in and then add in or includes the text that we actually need within our email body because we prompted it like that so we use that prompt library we use that last part of the prompt to actually do that right so copilot is thinking so copilot is done thinking and it's actually saying that it's going to add these two actions which is getting the submitter email from the uh, from the responses and then sending the email or using the send an email action within uh, within our flow after the get submitter email action right so it's still trying to connect to the apps and services meaning it's trying to connect to my right apps and services that i'm signed in using my outlook account right you can see that it's already added in the actions in the right place so for an example if we expand this you can see it's picking up the get response details and trying to pull in the email of the responder and then it tries to then send the email using the dynamic content from the previous step and then it puts in thank you for submitting your feedback within our uh, within the body of our email and also as the subject so ideally that is how you can be able to use copilot within power automate to actually build a flow for you and you can use the prompt library the power platform prompt library to be able to get started with prompting copilot to build awesome cool stuff for your cool solutions that you're looking for based off of your requirements see you on the next one